welcome to Digital Champions TV, where we speak with the top leaders and trendsetters in advertising and marketing. I'm Greg Kirkham, and today we're joined by Nick Ritter, the Chief Everything Officer of Mind Palace Media, based in Provo, Utah. Welcome, Nick. Well, thank you, Greg. Nice to be here. Hey, uh, Nick, you started off as a creative director for the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at BYU. That's a mouthful, but that's fantastic. Uh, how did that segue into your your work at Mind Palace Media now? Uh, that's a really good question. <laughs> so I, I uh, learned a lot about video production working there. Um, I'd been making movies, uh, you know, short films and things as a as a teenager, and um, but that was my first foray into like marketing, marketing strategy, uh, sending campaigns out across multiple um, services. So we had things on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, and um, so so it was a great crash course in that. Uh, I got to work with some. Uh, so I was like a co creative director for a while, and so I got to work with some great. Um, advertising students there, and um, I also picked up some skills in post-production and motion design, and so I, I was able to leverage those into eventually Harmon Brothers. Um, they're an ad agency also here in Provo, Utah, and uh, worked my way up in the agency to also be a creative director there, and uh, learned a lot about like you know, unit testing and um, sending out multiple versions of the same video to see which one performs the best. Um, and uh, my my experience in, in other avenues of advertising as well, such as the, the motion graphics that I mentioned, um, some writing, uh, those all fed into um, me being able to, to lead these teams of, of creative people. And so now um, Mind Palace Media is my company and, and um, I've more or less struck out on my own and um, just working at, uh, you know, bigger and bigger types of campaigns um, as we go. So, yeah, you've um, worked on some of the largest, question. <laughs> very much so. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You've worked on some of the largest, uh, largest campaigns around. You've done incredible work. Um, you've seen the industry change. You've seen it adapt into it, what it is today. Uh, what are some of the biggest changes that you've seen in marketing? Uh, but what do you see within the next, say, two years? Uh, where do you see it going? I mean, the the biggest difference that I've noticed over my career so far has been just the fragmentation of advertising. So it's not just television ads, or it's not just Facebook, or not just YouTube. You got to be on like all these different platforms, and and you don't get everyone on one platform anymore either. So it depends on the age range that you're going for. So if you have a product that's going to Gen Z, then you gotta be on TikTok, you gotta be on Instagram. But if you have something that's more like B2B or for like older generations, then you wanna be on LinkedIn, you wanna be on Facebook. And I, I see the fragmentation becoming more solidified as time goes on. Um, and becoming more, um, more codified. So I think I think groups of people gravitate towards you know birds of a feather will flock together and they'll find their own platforms to go exist on. And so it's um, marketing is increasingly becoming a game of like where is my audience living right now, and then how do I talk to them? Yeah, and so, I would and I would AI dare say. Just... <laughs> oh, sorry. Go ahead. I would, oh no, you're okay. I, I would dare say better understanding your clientele and, and a lot of mm -hmm. psychographics and whatnot play a huge part these days in really running an effective campaign now uh, versus how it used to be. You could put it out on Facebook and let it run and you, uh -huh. you Just would throw some money at it. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> No, it's it's yeah. true. Um, so, so taking that time to really get to know your customers and like who are we selling to, um, what are what are the the deep problems that they're dealing with, and you know how can we help step in and solve that for them? That's that's all 
like even more crucial. Um, and especially in the age of AI, like I, I see AI stepping in and being a tool to help like personalize content for people. Um, mm -hmm. I also see it creating a mess of just garbage ads out there. <laughs> and so having this authentic connection with your community, with your fans, with your customers, um, that's, that's really going to go a long way in the future. And, and mm -hmm. I see, I see more of that, that human connection rising to the top more than like these highly polished, um, overly done campaigns. Well, thank you so much for visiting with us today, Nick. And to connect with Mind Palace Media and learn more about Nick Ritter, visit our website at digitalchampionstv.com. We're working with agencies to be able to scale them and grow them and provide them services that would cost them way more than it would uh, for them to do it themselves. As, as an agency owner, you need the support of other people to really be able to serve your clients better and be able to provide them with services that they're going to not only want to purchase for the first time, but they're going to want to continue purchasing over the long haul. So it includes anything from video production all the way to web design, SEO, video content, and then also uh, lead generation, social media, the works. What we do is we take a, a hands-on approach with our clientele to be able to help, help you be successful, help you grow, help you really dial in who you are as an agency, and help you focus more on those core values that you want within your business. We're not just a, you know, a white label agency, we're a consultancy. And because we have scaled multiple agencies, uh, we've worked with hundreds of clients, we know what it takes to be able to, to grow the business.